clothes. Amber, what is you doing? You need to check yourself. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. Are no, you dumb? Uh -uh. Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, as always, thank you so much for watching and also supporting my channel. Make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Love to have you here. Today's Monday, December 18th, 2023. I just wanted to come on here and basically just go ahead and start off the vlog with some of the things that I want to try to accomplish this week going forward. Um, so with this week, I pretty much just got my work schedule and I'm working today all the way until Friday. But you know what? It's okay because... I honestly really love my job at Texas Roadhouse. Like, it's honestly been the best serving job that I have ever had. And I really go, hey, and I really love to go back for the customers. Like, the customers love me. When I tell y'all every shift I work, I get multiple compliments. Like, they tell me that they've been, I've been the best server that they've ever had. And I'm like, ever? Like, you know, when I get to work, like, I don't play no games. Like, I make really good money at Texas Roadhouse. And it, it, it all really depends on the service. Like, you know, there's not great customer service out here. And it's really refreshing when you do receive great service. When you go to a restaurant or anything like that, you're always going to get great service from me no matter what. Like, I'm always happy. I'm always smiling. Uh, one of the servers yesterday was like, oh my God, I love your voice. It's just so pretty. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. It's all small and stuff. So I don't know. I've been having a really great time there at Texas Roadhouse. And like I said, I make great money. I love the customers who come in there. My manager yesterday when I was leaving, clocking out, he was like, you have four different tables. Give you really great compliments. And I was like, mm -hmm. Thank you. I mean, it, it's not something that I'm not used to because I'm just that type of person. Like, I'm always smiling. I'm always happy when I'm around people. Customer service is my thing. Like, I love providing customer service. And I definitely love providing customer service in a way that I would appreciate it. Like, you know, when you go out to eat, you know a bad server from a good server. You know, a good server is always attentive to you. Always make sure you have what you need. They're always looking and watching. Um, you know, but a great server, you should never have to ask for anything. You feel what I'm saying? It should already come to you. Your server should already know what you need always checking up on you like I never abandon my tables my tables see me all the time they probably get annoyed because they see me all the time I'm always going out to them like everybody okay you need anything like because you know how when you get your food there might be something that's missing or you might need something extra so I always make sure that I pay attention to that but when I'm at work, it's like super busy all the time. Like Texas Roadhouse is busy, especially on the weekends. Like yesterday, it was bananas in there. Um, so I don't know how today goes. It might be a little bit slow, but that's all right. But yes, I love my job. I make great money and that's all I can ask for. <laughs> so what we're gonna be doing is I've been saving um, for this New York trip. All the tips that I get, I throw it in a drawer and then I'm going to end up counting it at the end of this week. I've been spending some because we've been eating out a lot. Um, but I had to tell babe, like, we have to stop eating out. Like, we need to go to the store, cook something, whatever. Because um, this money's supposed to be for New York, specifically for that. So we can enjoy our trip out there. So, yeah, i just been throwing money in the pot. And then we're going to count it at the end of the week and see what's happening um so yeah i did request off on saturday because my sister is having a 
pajama party with the family. So me and babe actually have to get matching pajamas. So I'm gonna try to find some time to get out and find us some pajamas, probably at Old Navy um, sometime this week. I also need to go ahead and go to the dog shelter to drop some things off, donate some things to the dog shelter that the dogs are not using anymore and stuff that I just keep buying that they don't need. Um, and then also too, we have some exciting content that's coming up within the weeks. We're actually taking a road trip to New York to see my brother again, but we're actually gonna be staying out there for five days. Um, so you guys will see a vlog for that. Very exciting. And my birthday is January 2nd. So it's all going to be collided into each other. So I'm really excited to get content and show you guys that whole experience. Also too, what I wanted to do this week is pretty much change up what it is that I'm doing as far as these weekly vlogs. Because with the weekly vlogs, I really don't go anywhere um, besides home and work. So I don't want it to get boring. Like the only thing that you guys are seeing me doing is pretty much cleaning the house, cooking sometimes. Yeah, there's nothing really exciting going on. I want to be able to create content um, that you guys will enjoy within my day-to-day -day life and everything like that. Work in the afternoons, I pretty much have the mornings all to myself. So I want to kind of try to get on the routine to where I'm going to the gym early in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not a morning person at all, but it's a little hard for me because now I work in the afternoons. So mornings is going to have to be my thing. So my plan is this week is to get up and go to the gym at six o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday. That is my goal. And I need to make sure that when I get home, I take my booty to bed because I don't be wanting to go to sleep. Um, I need to make sure I go to bed so I can get up at a decent hour to get to the gym because Crunch, I just signed up to go back to Crunch because they have the classes. So I signed up for a class tomorrow at six o'clock. So we're gonna see how that works. And then I'll sign up for different classes throughout the week. And also, too, my membership is going to end at Anytime Fitness on my birthday, which is January 2nd. So, I'm currently enrolled into two gyms right now, but that's okay. The other one's right down the street. So, I want to try to go to that one at night after I get off of work and then go there in the morning. So, that way my memberships are not being, you know, wasted. So... And that's the plan starting today all the way until Friday. I want to be able to make it to the gym and try to get working out in my routine in the morning. Like I want to do that. I want to work out. I want to come home. I want to take the dogs on a walk. And then I need to, you know, do any duties that I need to do around the house. Hey, stop it. Yeah, problem. You got a problem, Mr. Man? Mm, yeah. Hi, baby. Hello. Yeah, so I want to take care of any duties that I need to do around the house. Um, so, you know, I've just been thinking. I just want to be able to... Mwah. I just want to be able to get myself into a routine. Because I'm, I'm not in a routine. I'm, I'm literally just all over the place. And I don't want to be like that going into the new year. Like, I know it's a cliche and everybody's like, new year, new me. But it needs to be a new year, new you. And I don't know why people think that that's such a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, yes, you should always be trying to change every day. But to be able to start fresh is always a refreshing feeling and always something that everybody should look forward to. Like, you know, you don't want 2024 to be like 2023. 2023 has been a hell of a year for me. Like I've just been really down and really depressed and going through a lot, going through different jobs. Like <clears throat> I really had to take a look at my life and be like, girl, you was all over the place this year. You just was not happy. You were not yourself. So, 2020. 
So 2024 is definitely going to have to change for you. Like, you know, I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be depressed. I don't want to, I don't want to go through another year like this year. This year was really, really tough for me. And I don't want to go through that again. And now I feel like 2000, ouch, ouch, ouch. Now I feel like. And 2024 is going to be a lot better because I did have my breast reduction surgery this year, which makes me really, really happy. And I'm trying to get to a point to where I'm not getting surgeries on my body. Like, I want to be able to say that I did this myself. Like, I want to create a banging body that I made myself with hard work and dedication. Um, so, it, it's a lot for me, you know, starting the new year. We're working on not eating any meat. I'm probably going to go pescatarian. So I need to start challenging myself because I get really down sometimes if I fail. And I just keep that streak of failing and not picking back up until I feel like it's the right time to do so. So definitely humbling myself and, and getting myself into a routine I'm really excited about. And we're going to see what happens. So yeah. And today's Monday. Our plan is going to work, going to the gym after work, getting up in the morning, hitting this gym class, taking the dogs on the walk, and then figure out what we're going to do from there. So I'm about to head out of the house now so that way I can go and try to find some catfish. What? <laughs> you wanted to start all over. Why? Because I walked that motherfucker out. No, you did. I am pretty much done cleaning the upstairs. I did get my office a little bit more situated than what it was the bedroom. I just need to put a little bit of clothes away and then just tidy up in here. Babe's home, so I'm about to go and get this catfish so that way I have it. And then when I get home, we'll finish up, you know, with the office and the bedroom and stuff. So come on, let's go and try to find this catfish. All right, guys, so it's me and Zuri today. She's coming with me. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go down to Woolies, which is our fish market here, um, down in a strip. I think I'm just go down there and try to find the catfish, but I don't know. I never made catfish before, so I'm hoping I can find some catfish that don't have bones. But if the catfish has bones and if they don't have some without bones, I'm not getting it. Hold on. <laughs> all right so yes if we can't find catfish then we might get caught because i had a caught sandwich the other day from this restaurant fire but if no caught we're definitely gonna go ahead and get some wrist snapper because we want wrist snapper we'll see what we can find and i'll see you at Woolies. Department line two, please. Department line two. Yeah, can I do the, this wrist snapper? It doesn't have any bones in it, right? The fillets. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hey y'all, today is Thursday. So I wanted to go ahead and try to get the upstairs together. I'm trying to like declutter the house, almost like winter cleaning. So I can get everything that we're not using and throw it away, get it out the house. Because I mean, where we currently live right now, we don't have any space for anything, okay? And I mean nothing. We're pretty much just cluttering everything up and I feel like I just need to declutter because anytime that anything is just cluttered in your life, whether it's your house, your car, you just can't focus because everything is everywhere. When your room is dirty, whatever the case may be, you just feel off. So I just been <clears throat> feeling really off lately. I think it's I'm kind of like in my depressed era you know, so it's hard when you're battling with depression and you're suffering from that bipolar and you get into like those low lows. And I think that's kind of what I've been feeling these past couple of weeks. So I haven't really been able to like pick up the camera because I just wanted to kind of like live in, in that moment. I guess try to make myself have a better attitude. You know, like last night, it was a little frustrating because I couldn't go to sleep. Like, you know, I get up to go to the restroom and then I just start crying on the toilet. Like, and I'm like, what is wrong? Like, I kind of felt <clears throat> in my body that I was just in that moment super unhappy. Like, I was just like, I don't like how life is going for me right now. I don't like how I'm feeling lost or I'm feeling stuck or I'm feeling like, you know, what I'm trying to do is just, it's just not coming off the way that I would want it to. You know, I kind of got a little bit discouraged <clears throat> and I'm just like crying and I'm crying and I'm crying and Bay wakes up out of her sleep. And she comes over because I'm like sitting on the steps at this point because I don't want to bother her and I don't want to wake her up. And she's like, what's wrong? And I'm just like, I don't know. So, you know, you kind of get these spurs of the moment. That's where you can just bust out crying, <clears throat> you know. So it, it's, it's definitely hard living with it and also just hard not being on medication. But that is something that I want to kind of try to get into for 2024 is going back and seeing a therapist and then also seeing if I can try, you know, some type of medication that may help with like my moods and everything. So if there is someone that is in my community that suffers with depression, you know, bipolar, anxiety, if you wanna go ahead and maybe kind of comment below, you know, what are some of the things that you like to do, you know, to kind of help yourself get back on track or if there's anything that you recommend, something that works for you. I just wanna make sure that if you are a subscriber to me, if you do suffer from bipolar, depression, or anxiety, just know that I'm here for you and I wanna build this community on this because I don't see this a lot on YouTube. I don't see you know, a lot of people whose channels that I watch who may suffer from this. So I'm just trying to find a community myself and I'm hoping to kind of build one with my followers here too. Cause it gets really, really hard. Like, you know, I was explaining to babe yesterday, like my day was off because I wasn't doing things that I needed to do. I was pretty much giving myself to do, you know, what it is that she needed to do. And it was kind of selfish. It was selfish of me. So I'm like, I gotta get into a better attitude. Like my mood has just been horrible these past couple of weeks and I'm just like Amber what are you doing you need to check yourself like you cannot go around hating the world or you know doing this and that because you feel like you can't control your emotions so definitely for 2024 I'm definitely gonna be like doing some soul searching maybe trying different activities or looking up different things that may help with people who suffer from bipolar you know depression anxiety and see what some things are that may work for me or maybe for somebody else out there so <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to share that because I just feel like after last night and you know feeling sorry for myself and feeling like a failure and everything like that I'm like get up 
and do something like just get up and move and accomplish something that you want to do today and just tell yourself that every single day you just get up and then you just try your hardest to do something that you want to do and just get it done and you're going to feel so much better about it so that's where we're at today i just feel like i wanted to get the upstairs together especially the bedroom because it's kind of like a peaceful place for me i love being in my bedroom because i i love my bedroom i love being in my bedroom it's comfortable it's cute and it's a safe space for me also with my office i'm still working on getting that together to hassle because I have nowhere to put anything. So it's just been a struggle. But you know, as long as I tell myself, I just need to take it one day at a time, everything's gonna be okay. Like, you know, so I'm just trying to be vulnerable right now because I really need the help of my community. If you suffer from something like this, I really need the ladies that come on here and and share some experiences and stuff with me because it's hard it is so hard especially when you don't have someone to talk to who doesn't go through what you go through when you experience bipolar or depression or anxiety so if my ladies or my men are out there and you want to connect and share stories i'm all here for it so that's on my agenda today to get done but i want to get done that's going to make me happy which is getting everything situated upstairs I'm gonna go donate to the dog shelter maybe even see some dogs and can play with them um you know we got our little babies here but um yeah so let me stop talking let's go ahead and get to cleaning and then i will see you in the next clip Do 
many tears after all these years See my days are cold without you my days are cold yeah. without you And my heart can't take no more I'll keep on reflecting See my days are cold without you Without you Hey guys, good morning. It is currently Friday. I'm just getting ready for work because I'm off tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is my sister's um, Christmas pajama party. Um, so I will actually be going shopping because I'm in charge of the grinder sandwiches and then we're also gonna make some fried chicken and we gotta go shopping for that. Babe's gonna go find us some matching pajamas today because I just haven't had the time to do it. I've been working all week and just tired. But as you can see, we hit the gym last night because like I said, I'm off tomorrow. I don't plan on going to the gym in the morning because I wanna kind of try to take this day off to get some stuff done around the house and yeah so i start work at 11 30 today it's about to be 11 so i'm actually about to head out of the door and then i guess i will talk to you guys tomorrow so i decided to put on some makeup and get cute today because today's friday today is a money day so i'm hoping or i'm telling myself that i'm walking out of there today with at least 250 so we'll see what happens. Yesterday was a complete disaster, but today's going to be a lot better. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys. I'm Mr. Take your bitch. Take her for a trip. Fly her to New York. Sign my name all on her tits. Thank you. You want something else? They got stuff over there. They got stuff over here. We got one. We, oh, okay. You want candy? You want that? You want fruit snacks? Get them. Grab the fruit snacks. Yep, grab them. Pull them off. Oh, yay. Good job, India. Good job. Is that it? Candy. Look at those. Hi. Yeah. You all got it? <laughs> you got everything? All right. I think we have everything. You ready? Come on. Let's go pay for our snacks. Come on. All right, y'all. We took a chance and bought two $30 tickets. We finna see what happens. They're low numbers. So let's hope and pray that we hit something. Okay.
Okay guys, so we are home from shopping. It's currently about 4.40ish. The party starts at 5. Of course, me always late, but we just finished frying the chicken up. I got all of the games together for the adults, for the kids. So now we'll go ahead and get in the shower, get dressed, head to my mom's house and start to party already. <laughs> and then I'll see you guys when I'm done. <laughs> I just got done, I just got done setting up some games for the not paying attention. Get up, get up, get up, get up! My stepdad gave me and Michaela a card for Christmas. And my sister got us something, so we're just gonna open it up. Right here. Come on. Together we have our matching PJs on guys. It's the legs I gotta see though, man. That's what. I know. But what 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 they say black people do? Hold on, wait, hold on, y'all. This is what black people do when they open up Christmas cards. Well, first of all, <laughs> <laughs> act like you don't see the money in there. <laughs> Thank you, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Santa, Dear Amber, Santa. Amber and Michaela, may Christmas, 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 Christmas Christmas bring you wonderful Christmas. moments that become warm memories. Oh, Love, Mister Me. me. Oh, oh. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my Thank you. Come here. Give me a gift. That was so cute. Aw, this is what we got for Christmas. We're going to open a gift from my sister. Look how cute. Look how cute. I'll definitely is. wear these because that's all I keep is socks on my feet. He's probably too busy worried about everybody else. Oh my goodness, look. 
some socks for next year. For next year, for our next party. Oh, yeah, for next year. Yeah, for next year oh, party. She hasn't bought the glasses, so we'll have some of this later. Yes, look, y'all. This oh, is nice. it. Oh. Nice. I'm about to well, put these on right now. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> That was so sweet. Okay, so we're waiting for my brother and his my brother and his girlfriend to get here, and then we're gonna start playing together. <laughs> For someone who don't want to be on the camera, I keep coming in. She said I was minding my own business, making myself a drink. What's up? So wait, where are you working at on this night? Texas Roadhouse. Okay, all right. Scoop it up. Oh my god. We gotta put a timer on. This is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Nice. 
the class.
I got my pimple patch on my face. Oh my God. Last night was so lit. It was so much fun hanging out with the family. And it's always just us, which is perfectly fine because it's always a great time. I'm so sleepy. We had a great time playing the games. The food was so good. Everything was so good. My nephew came over and stayed the night with me. They went home early because she was sleepy. She was in there scratching that scratch off and she couldn't keep her fucking eyes open. So she decided to go home. But then me, my sister, and my niece was playing Clue, um, the game board Clue. It was so much fun. Like we was just drinking for the rest of the night, listening to music, playing games. It was it was everything. So then my sister dropped me off and came home and I went to bed and then I've been up since earlier this morning and I got work at three thirty. But then I'm off tomorrow. So my uncle's having a um my uncle's having a little shindig at his house. So we're probably gonna go to that. And then I think I'll end the vlog there tomorrow, Monday. Normally, I would end the vlog today um, and post tomorrow. That's going to be my new schedule. Trying to get everything done throughout the week so I can post it on time on Monday. So, I'm going to have videos up on Monday. So, we should have a video up on Tuesday. Um, so, you guys can see a little bit of what was going on this weekend. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I don't even know. If there's going to be anybody in Texas for a house today on Christmas Eve, but we shall see. Like, it doesn't even feel like Christmas Eve. This is like the most un -Christmassy Christmas Eve I've ever encountered. Like, we're in Pittsburgh, so there's no snow on the ground. Yesterday was about 50 degrees. These past couple of years, we haven't really been having snow. Like, it's supposed to snow for Christmas. It's supposed to be December. It's supposed to be hella cold. house y'all we had a ball okay like i wish i could have got it all on camera but i was like too busy living in the moment we was playing games and everything so we had a ball won prizes the food oh my god the food my uncle can cook his butt off y'all that food was fire brought a play home for my brother gonna freeze it and take it to new york to him because it was just so good but we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here thank you guys so much for tuning in if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and also supporting me so i'll see you guys in the next vlog